many people suffering from chronic back pain had only one option, surgery that would limit movement and permanently restrict their activities. But that's changed with a groundbreaking new procedure. Our Catherine Amenta spoke with an Upper St. Clair man who says it's given him his life back. You don't realize when you have that pain, because it, it hits you in increments over time, how much pain you're in until it's gone. From his days of playing college football at Harvard to skiing triple black diamond mountains, Nathan Snyder has never been one for slowing down. But his low back pain was catching up with him fast. And it wasn't until the father of four was running with his daughter on vacation four years ago that things changed. I couldn't lift my legs without severe pain. It just felt loose as if my spine wasn't totally stable. And that scared me. Nathan's diagnosis, spinal stenosis. That's when wear and tear leads to narrowing within the spine and pressure on the nerves. He thought his only option was spinal fusion, metal rods and screws to stabilize the back. You never get one fusion, you, get, you end up with multiple. I sat down with his surgeon, Dr. Donald Whiting, chair of neurosurgery at AHN, and he explained why that's often the case. Dr. Whiting told me when you do one fusion, then that puts more stress on the vertebrae above and below, which may lead to additional fusions in the future, limiting your movement more and more. The hip used to be fused and people would walk around kind of like a peg leg. And then the hips joint came around and people got back to activity. And luckily for Nathan, that's what also came around for the spine. It's called the total posterior spine system or TOPS. Dr. Whiting says this cushion helps mimic the natural movement of the spine. With this, with wear and tear, will you need a second one of these? That's a really good question. And really the long-term data is still being determined. That's because TOPS is still fairly new. It just received FDA approval this past June. And when Nathan signed on, it was still in FDA trials. But he said he was willing to take a chance, and it paid off. I can't say enough about the outcomes. Now he's back to skiing, or golfing, and recently even running a Tough Mudder race. It was 11 miles over obstacles in the middle of the woods in mud, and it didn't bother me at all. Jump out. I asked Dr. Whiting if it's typical to be able to return to such strenuous activity. Oh, hey, after you're healed, there is no limit to what you do and no limit to the activities. You don't need to wait anymore. Go see the doctor. Catherine Amenta, Channel 11 News.